Here is a pitching and chipping death move. I'm gonna give you a way to identify if this is a death move that you suffer from and also a way to solve it. I want you to take your longest iron. For many, that might be a six. Uh, for some, it might be a five. Nonetheless, your longest iron, and I want you to step on it with your trail foot when you're taking your stance to any chip or pitch shot. The death move I'm describing is when a person hangs back on their trail side as they try and elevate, as they try and loft the ball up into the air and you can see what happens. As I stand on this club, the grip is up in the air. As I rear back on it, the grip stays up in the air. So what I want you to do now is identify that this grip should not be up in the air. What we want when we're chipping our pitching, we want a great majority of our body weight up on our left side, on our lead side. You can see what happens when I shift body weight to my lead side. That grip wants to come back down really close and touch the ground. So the sense is my right foot is very, very light. We can use this as a very effective way to create a right foot, light foot impact, just like so, making more solid contact because you're not hanging back on it. You're gonna have your mass on your lead side. It's gonna stay on the lead side. That club chills on the ground and you're gonna have more success in solving that death move and hitting great pitches and chips.